picked up on what I'm doing and is, is, is taking it uh, in a slightly different direction. But I've shown it uh, to people at, at the origami meetings. I've taught people to do it, and uh, nobody's really doing it. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure why. It, I think, I think, so I hear comments on, on how tedious it's happening, but it's, maybe it is. I don't, I don't when I look at this, I um, So what happens, so before, I was somewhat interrupted. So what, what I try to do is uh, look at what paper does under tension. Uh, this, theoretically, this is a flat piece of paper. Okay? I, could, I could put it down here and press it and make it flat. It would uh, want to spring back and, and into this shape. Um, the source of, of the whole process is this. Um, this is uh, a piece folded back in the 80s by, by the British folder from Paul Jackson. And uh, the way he, he made it uh, was he locked edges here to, to create a shape that sort of looked like this. Let me try to press it flat okay. like this. Right. And now he called this a bulge okay, because that's what the paper does. It, it doesn't want to be flat, it bulges up. Um, so when you lock edges, which means folding them over, uh, you make it impossible for the paper to open on this side. It wants to do it because it wants to unfold. Uh, it's heavy paper, it's strong, and there are a lot of pleats in here, and, and it's, it's, you have to really work hard to convince it to stay folded. So, so you, I'd rather not do that than let it take on its natural shape. Um, this is very simple to make, in fact. And it is a single square, which I can prove you. Um, ah. <laughs> Now, I won't put it back together in front of you, <laughs> but that's, that's what it was when it started. Um, so it sort of, you know, the paper it sort of learned what, it, what it's supposed to look like. And so I can see yeah. types of paper you like using all the other This is relatively heavy paper that um, I guess sometimes, uh, uh, I, I'm not sure what it was used for, really. Um, it, it was made in Germany. It's called Elephant Hide, and or Marble. It was marketed here under the name Marble by, by a company that doesn't want to import it anymore. So it's hard what to is it used for besides folding? This particular paper, I'm not sure what it was used. I think they probably printed uh, all kinds of catalogs or invitations on it. Or mm -hmm. like Although some colors are pretty difficult to get um, interesting things printed on. This is a color that's not really well liked by most of the people I hold with. Uh, it's called curry yellow. It's fairly harsh. Um, but there are other colors that are more pleasant. So, um, so this is a lot of what I show you um, is made from this type of paper. But you can use almost anything. Um, and some of it, um, I'll, I'll talk about this one in a moment. Um, so this is an example of where you can to get the paper to do something you like. Wow. I have sequences of pleats here that form ribs branching out. And, and some of these I can imagine what they will look like before I start. Mm -hmm. okay, there's a particular uh, set of things I can do and, and a set of uh, constructions I know how, how they work. And I, can, I had an idea of what this was going to look like and, and it, I can make it look like that when I'm done. But sometimes I get surprised. So you created that? I did. That I did. So, so except for the little ones that I showed you in the okay. beginning, all the other things right. uh, are my creation. Oh, and this one is not. Um, so sometimes there are things that will surprise you. I was expecting this to be flat, to actually want to sit flat. But it <laughs> doesn't. Uh, but there's a nice, uh, at least what I got was. <laughs> Set out. Now it looks the same. <laughs> so the geometry works just like that in this case. Um, some of them are dangerous to, to open up because they won't come back to the same um, shape. You can use other types of paper. Uh, this is much thinner and lighter. It's it's uh, handmade uh, Japanese paper, uh, mulberry paper. And in fact, this is all one piece. Okay, so. Uh, after a while, you, you fold a lot of bowls and, and, and plates and, and, and things, and you get tired and you say, what else can I do? So, so I started out by making a lot of 
smaller and larger goals. Yeah. Um, but after a while, you say, well, I can put something inside it as well. And so these three balls are made from the same piece of paper as the rest of the... Of the but still not cut. No okay. Uh, the only part where I cheated a little is that, so, so I, see, they're, they're pretty sturdy, and that's because there's extra paper inside them. Ah. So I, I made sure I could get enough paper here to, to plump. make the balls okay. round, and then I stuffed them with paper. Mm -hmm. um, if you look really carefully, there's, here's how, how it's made. The pleats here are fairly thin, but there's a lot more of them here. So there's extra paper. That's the planning you need to do. Extra paper that allows you to make things in addition to the vessel. Um, sometimes you get a shape that, that looks like something you might use for other things. <laughs> sometimes you can actually create a more representational thing. Um, again, because nobody likes this curry paper, I call this curry monster. But um, I, 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 I need to explore this further. Yeah, I have both sets on um, I have left. I have left uh, little things folded in addition to tips. So one of the questions I have been asked asked is what you can do with it after folding. So this is an attempt to add to, to make it uh, more durable or, or sturdier, but it ends up looking like a piece of plastic. <laughs> and I'm not sure mm. they like that. Um, yeah. There might be better ways to do it. Uh, this is with, um, what's it called? Um, yes, one, one, of, one of them, yeah. Um, there's, a, there's a particular brand name that I'm trying to remember. The spray of some kind. No, it's a, it's a, um, a two-component thing that, that you mix up. And then, oh, yeah, an uh, epoxy. It's, it's self-leveling also. Mm -hmm. they, they use it to, to make tabletops, I guess. Or, oh. um, but then you, you can try to use other materials as well. And so um, oh, yeah, metal is that's durable. That's beautiful. Uh, copper oh, is beautiful. That's and in fact, you can fold it. Uh, but there are some differences. Paper will let you fold it and unfold it.